Mom, why did Father Ray leave? You know, what's going on? And, and she said, I don't know, but, but you know, he'll be back or we'll see him on Sunday. Subsequently, the next box was to go up to the playroom. And when I went in there, there was probably four or five hundred flies. And we're talking, this is mid-December in Long Island. And, you know, I started yelling. And, Mom came running upstairs and she started screaming and getting nervous and it finally started clicking in her mind, I'm not sure what it was, why Father Ray had just left. I would stand there with the newspaper, smashing them on the wall and smashing them on the window and knowing that in five minutes I just killed about a hundred flies and I went downstairs to tell Mom to have her come up to be all proud that she killed the flies and the dead flies are gone. She would look at me and say, what did you do? You did what? Where's the newspaper? Put the, I just left the newspaper on the floor. Well, where's the dead flies? And that's when my confusion started. Hello everyone, this is Gruesome Herzog. My review today is called My Amityville Horror in 2012. It is a documentary. So, let's see how this goes. Here's the storyline. For the first time in 35 years, Daniel Lutz recounts his version of the inf infamous Amityville haunting that terrorized his family in 1975. Directed by Eric Walter, written by Eric Walter. Here's the cast. Daniel Lutz, the son of George and Kathleen Lutz. Susan Bartell, as a psychologist, Laura Di Didio as the investigative reporter, Marvin Scott as a former reporter on the Channel 5 News, same goes for Nemi Alperson and Ben Fotai. Now this is an ongoing um, rumor mill over the years. Um, you have to experience it yourself to know if it's really happened. Now, there was a murder in that house previous, what, 1973, maybe? That did happen. But then when the Lutzes moved in, uh, apparently claiming that the house was haunted. Now, if you go to Amityville, New York, which I was for a movie that I, I was in uh, back in 2012, a lot of the neighbors in that area says it was, it's a bunch of bullshit. So, it's open to the mind of the beholder. So, this is really not a review. I'm just going to give my opinion on this. I wasn't there, so I can't say if it's fake or real. All right, um, something might have happened, as far as whatever. So I'm taking it for what it is. I'm going by it on a documentary end of it. I thought it was a very interesting documentary. I kind of get fascinated by documentaries because you get to sit back and and hear people talk and people who experienced it. So. In the entertainment value, it's a really good documentary. So basically, it's up to the mind of the beholder whether you believe it or not. That's my opinion on this. It's a, you know, uh, an, an, an interesting documentary, and you're always going to hear something different. So that being said, this is Gruesome Herzog. I give this documentary a 6 out of 10. Entertaining, interesting, and... Uh, Lutz, Daniel Lutz is a hothead. He's very interesting to hear his story. That being said, this is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.